Now that I have an in-tune playable instrument, I want to use some of Simpler's built-in filtering and modulation functions to get a little more life and a little more interest and more motion out of this instrument. The first thing I'll do is open up this display so I can see the sample above, the filter, LFO, and the envelopes right here. The first thing I'll look at when trying to get a cool sound out of a synthesizer is going to be the filter. And the filter here in Simpler is really, really good. Let's check it out. So I'm going to play a note. That's just some great possibilities in there. We can make it even better by switching from the clean filter mode to one of the analog models that gives us a drive or distortion control. I'll go with the PRD. And now I'll play an increased drive. That's a really big, powerful sound. I love how that's working out. Now, I really liked when that filter was moving particularly when it was bright at the beginning of the sound and then faded away a little bit. Get that bright attack and the fading away of timbre. So I'll switch over to the filter envelope and increase the filter envelope amount. And I'll turn this all the way up to 72. So notice that the starting point of my filter frequency is 285. This envelope is going to go from 285 hertz up to whatever this plus 72 is and then back down over the decay time, which is right here. Nice. Now if I increase decay time, that's a nice sound. Now I'd like a little bit of motion with that filter. I did notice that when I was holding a note before, and when I was moving filter frequency, we got a nice evolution to the sound. So, I'll go over to the LFO, and I'll increase the filter parameter. This is controlling how much the filter is changing because of the LFO. And I'll slow it down a little bit. So we get that little bit of motion in there, which is really nice. Now the last thing I want to do here is give it some width. And the spread parameter is great for that. So if I turn that up, let's say 75%, and let's hear what this does. That feels really wide in my speakers now. Totally love this sound. And remember, every time as you play with the sound, you can always adjust the start point right here. To get a different sound. Once I've created a sound I really like, I can rename it. Click on the title bar of the instrument. Hit Command R for rename. I'll call this Disto Bass. LDN for Loudon, and I can hit the save icon at the right hand corner of the patch. This will place it into my user library into the simpler folder, and I can hit enter. <laughs> 